Thank you for wanting a verse from me. Apologies for the wait, sometimes it's hard to get the distractions up off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got to. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had your another little baby. Congratulations, I hope you got through it with no complications. I find it amazing the way that you juggle your kids, the biz, the fame, the bitches that's hating. They sit around waiting for you to fall off like the album I'm making. But I hope that you're taking a little time for yourself. Still in a moment or two to unwind between the hectic sounds of your precious baby crying. Do you hear your mind? Must be a lot going on. I hear it in all of your songs. Niggas been doing you wrong. Barely been doing you wrong. On days you feeling like you on your own. I wrote this for you to put on. Thank you for sharing your light, your voice, and writing a beautiful poem. Session 32, bring me to tears. Be getting choked up when I hear it. Seems like I keep crying off so much since a nigga had these kids. And I don't know what it is that made me so sensitive. More than I already was. But never mind that, I'm back. I'm sending you this little audio hug. And hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above. The more that we hurt, the harder we love. As soon as it's gone, we gotta re up. It's just like a drug. If people knew half of the pressure, they know that it's hard to be her. I'm sending you scissors and Ari, my love. Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crowns. You ever need something from me? No hesitate, please. Just hit me and I'll be around. I'm gone.
And how does this go again? <laughs> I seem to have forgotten how this goes. But hey guys, hi. Welcome back or welcome me back because I'm the one who's been missing. Welcome back or welcome to my place. I'm back at my place. Um, I think I came on Friday morning. I came I came back to Joburg Friday morning. I've just been keeping busy with work and you know seeing my loved ones around town. But yeah, today is Wednesday, Wednesday the 12th. The time right now reads it's just like after half past 10. I had a time for 9 a.m. We just left not so long ago. Um, we we're doing her lashes and they came out beautifully as always um oh, i love that lady man i need that lady sitting on my chair every single week because she's just so good for my soul so with the lady i had done her before and she was returning we shared some coffee um i'm still finishing mine i had to reheat it and then i'm waiting for a drop off she said she wouldn't be more than an hour so i decided to wait instead of running off to go and get my supplies because i'm out so that's what our day is going to be looking like today so yeah i also just want to like confirm everything with everyone like all the other plans that i had made for this week just so you know everything is planned out and i know what i'm doing what day and how long that would take so i can plan for my other stuff as well so i can see if i can take more clients and stuff because it's back to school on monday and i like to say i'm excited i'd really love to <laughs> I'd, I'd genuinely really love to say i'm excited I'm excited <laughs> so next week school starts so i would like to squeeze in as many of my clients now because i know that i'm gonna get busy you know once we reopen and everything is back and running so yeah that's you being half caught up we are back at the new apartment i know that you guys have, haven't seen it um since my last vlog when i moved uh i think my last vlog i was still at my old place i think how i remember things but when I moved here, just like every other YouTuber has ever said, I was vlogging. But after some time, to have to go and edit content that's like two months old, it's just, it's a cringy experience. <laughs> like, I just want to edit stuff, like film stuff, edit stuff and get it out the way before it starts feeling cringy to me. And the content was quite old. I did, however, do some short vlogs, I think... I had taken you guys to SA Fashion Week, I had taken you guys to my other castings when I was still in my modeling era, my modeling bag, of which I do want to go back to going to castings and stuff. Um, so I had taken you guys through that whole experience and stuff, um, but everything is on my TikTok. Well, not everything, some of the stuff. Some of the stuff is on my TikTok, so if you do want to check that out, um, I'll link my TikTok in the description and also like have it somewhere on the screen. And I tried to pay it up again. I think two weeks, two, three weeks ago when I was home and well, I didn't say, I don't recall ever saying anything in the clips that you would have now just seen. Um, yeah, I think I last vlogged on Sunday when it was my birthday. I think you guys have kind of picked it up that I'm not like a huge birthday person like that. So I just had lunch with my boo and I went back home and had lunch with my family, with my, like my parents and my friend. My friend came by and yeah, my mom's sisters, my aunts, my baby cousin, like everyone was just there and it was just an awesome time. I didn't vlog that though, um, cause it was late at that point. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, when we return later on today, I will show you guys, um, you know, a few of the gifts that I received. But yeah, we're back at the place. I am loving the place where I moved. I don't get load shedding. It's been such a an amazing experience to not have to worry about that. Like sometimes we are caught on no good like we have load shedding and stuff, and that just goes to show just how privileged I am to have made this move. Like it was a very wise move on my part. I didn't even know that this place. Um, I think we have generators or something, but I don't get load shedding as you know compared to where I stay before. So it, there's like a lot of pros um, when you compare like both places. This one is like a bit further out. I won't lie um but it is worth it for the space like the apartment is slightly bigger i'm not gonna go into like the whole tour and everything you guys know how i feel about that um but you will see it you know as i vlog and stuff um the place is slightly bigger lighting is not bad at all um for when i do shoot content when i when i do shoot content um yeah i love it here i think that's you guys all caught up now we're packing the lash stuff that we've been using and i need to water my plants 
which is also like one other gift that i got from my mom you guys will see that later and then what else did i need to do yeah guys this is just me basically catching you guys up basically learning again how to speak to the camera um yeah i did one take of this so i hope it's good i hope i didn't miss anything yeah man i missed you guys so much <laughs> let me just finish this cap i'm probably gonna have to reheat it i want to also cut my nails because i have a client coming for braids tomorrow i don't remember when last i did braids it was probably on her no it was on renee yes but it's been a while so i hope i still got it um do braids on her tomorrow i cannot function with long nails like even with making wigs and stuff i'm struggling a little and i don't know how some of the ladies do it i've seen wig makers with way longer nails than i have make wigs and these are like short compared to what theirs are tension is quite good i think i've um i've done two weeks and a couple of days how long has it been two weeks and a couple of days two weeks are like three days i think um with these nails which is quite long and now it's acrylic so i do hope that my nail clipper goes through them um i've only ever really done gel so i don't know this is just like a bit of glue that i was giving off from like when we were busy there uh so i don't know if i'm gonna have to do a soak off professionally or if i can cut them if i can cut them i'm just gonna make them like shorter and file and keep it pushing I have a more real-time conversation with you guys in the comments as always or in the dms whichever one you prefer i hope i push time and this lady you know, tells me that she's downstairs or something because I would like to go get supplies while it's still like very earlier on posting on the line. I don't like running errands late. Like my errands need to be run by 12 p.m. In a perfect world, that is. So yeah, let's get let's get going with it. The goods have been secured. Now let us go cut my nails and also clear off my table. Day drinking to the evening. I knew that you were leaving. Trying to wash the pain away Yo, guys, I literally hopped back into bed because it's not my car's on my pants. Manje mina ingiti ya makaza. 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 It's cold. Is it though? Is it? Like kuti didi. Like kwa tonya. Kwa bata. Like serami. No. Kutu gala. No but I'm kidding. It's really cold outside. I jump back into bed. It's so cold. I cannot. So I think I'll only go to the store later on to go and get the the cap that i make the wigs onto you guys saw that i i received the hair as well as caps for when i do installs um and some bleach i think those are the three those are the three things that i remember uh, but those are like the most important things that i have to get right now but anyway there's this song on tiktok yeah um, i don't know the name of the song but it's in chi Zonga. I'm trying to learn the words. I found a video that has like a English and like that has the lyrics and an English translation. So I'm trying to learn and it's so hot. I don't like the second part, I don't say it fast enough. Wait, let me start it actually. I hope I don't get copyrighted. I, I... Kill, kill a cat. This is the English translation now. Kill a cat to eat in the train. There's no chicken in the there's no chicken to eat in the train in white people's land. So Diani Chimanga mea Daya Chimeleni Yuku Gai Kona Yuku Daya Chimeleni. Hi 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 lungabulungo. Like it's so beautiful. I would have thought like the lyrics like have like a deeper, you know, like a bit more profound, but I, I guess it's profound in its own sense. But okay, no, I think it's profound i hope it's profound <laughs> but i didn't think it was about chicken because here yeah, the hiku huku line actually just left my butt off because people in the comments are like um it's on the people really love their chicken because even shoma josie has that huku song right so i think huku means chicken i'm gonna like continue with this and then yes later on we are gonna go get the cap and stuff 
um weird that i was talking about my modeling stuff and getting back in my zoom this morning because my agent my new agent reached out she says to go shoot on saturday for a online magazine i've shot with them before um, i'm not sure if you're going to be shooting with the with i think her name what is her name that lady she's a lovely lady lovely lady um i don't know if she's gonna be our photographer this time around or if you're gonna be doing with a different photo photographer because it's a different location as well i haven't gotten the exact location as yet so we'll be just giving stuff with me along the way before saturday uh but we'll be shooting on saturday with the magazine and yeah it was pretty cool i got the concept as well for my shoot and it's like the um, it's what i've always wanted to shoot like it's like the higher end of editorial so like the creative stuff uh i like what they have in mind for me i saw the concepts for like the other models as well um pretty cool stuff i just need to prepare for the shoot so i want to dye my hair today uh in black that way by saturday most of the dye has faded out and it doesn't look as harsh and also but these i'm gonna do on saturday i got these um flat bags from lovisa i wanna change them out for like plainer ones because these ones were like a little more you know on the dressy uppy side gonna switch them out i'll do it saturday morning or friday night for like even my loop piercings this other one i think it's fine it's minimal enough just change these ones out for something smaller that will not you know take away from the rest of everything that will be going on and then yeah i'll see you guys on saturday i'm excited to be back working i hope you guys are excited to get back to work with me for now let's learn this song it's very important that i know it
Getting those things off. <laughs> 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 hey guys, today is Monday. Um, I just woke up from a nap. I was feeling a little too tired, so I just took a nap. I'm gonna give me this XO. One thing this XO will take is a nap. I think it's around two now, half past two maybe. Yeah, not so bad, two twenty-five. Um, did I miss anything? I didn't sleep that long. In the morning, I cleaned my place and then I went to go get a lace frontal for my wig because uh, I came across this other girl's TikTok. Uh, that's where she gets her hair from. Um, it's quite affordable. Like, literally, what I paid for my lace frontal today is like half of what I usually spend when I buy from my usual supplier. For myself, I knew that that price comes at a cost. <laughs> so I just wanted to try them out. And um, so I got a 12, 12 inch frontal and yeah this is what it looks like not very bad not very bad but it looks a thing it has like a lot of flyaways um you can't see them as clear as i do with the naked eye my usual supplier never has this insane amount of um flyaways but then i have products here to tame them so for me this could work but for my clients uh no i think for them and in future with myself for hair, I'll just stick to um, what I've always known. I need to water my plants. Actually, while we're on this topic of plants, um, this is gonna be not now um, the plant that my mom got me and my other rose plant. That seems like it's coming to like, it died because I was home for very long, right? So when I came back, a lot of leaves had senesced, but there were also quite a lot of like fresh green leaves that you could see that these are very recent uh so i still have hope <laughs> so i still water it and i still have hope that like roses will start coming in again um so i'm gonna water that one as well however for the rest of my gifts so i still need to take this tab off that um my boo got me this beautiful zara bag how gorgeous it's like um I don't know what do you call these kind I have like a kind of bag like this if you guys remember from my bag haul that I did like a long time ago um, mine was like blue like kind of like same design of a bag where the strings kind of you know and then yeah I just need to take this little tag thing off but yeah this cute little Zara bag I've already carried this one to work child he also got me the Zara tote um, it's in like a a nice very soft olive like a uh, it's an olive but because it's not shiny it looks really like soft and subtle um this little tote bag uh because i love totes 
I think I'll be a lot of it. As you guys always say, if you adore her, Dior her. So you got me the Miss Dior by Christian Dior. Uh, this smells stunning. Like this, oh my word, this smells stunning. You can see I've already used it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, here it is. The Miss Dior by Christian Dior. Uh, so I smell like money. You understand? And then my plant. Yeah. Oh, mm, the flavors are melting on my tongue. Um, and then my mom got me this bonsai. Um, I read the name a couple days ago. It is a um, Fincus, 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 and a Fincus. Fincus ginseng. It's a Fincus ginseng. Um, so yeah, apparently the soil always has to be damp and it doesn't really require like a crazy amount of care. Like just don't put it in direct sun. Not to, to put it in an elevated place and then don't overwater it. But the, somehow the soil has to always be damp. So I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah, I love my baby. I love plants i love bonsai my mom loves bonsai i also love bonsai um and i feel like it's such a great addition to my apartment and then my rose plant eh? i'm gonna water it and then i'll show you guys because right now it's just leaves honestly so i'll show you guys when it does or as it is coming back to life um yes but i am hopeful on my end what else am i forgetting oh my mom also got me perfumes you see you saw the perfumes that i liked on my previous vlog yeah she got me like a whole set of those um so i have like perfumes overload but i don't mind receiving more uh what what else was i i'm trying to think what we were supposed to do last week that we didn't get to i think dyeing my hair i blinked and it was friday night and I was like, if I applied black dye onto my hair right now, I'm gonna look very ridiculous on set the next morning. It was just gonna be a bit too harsh. Um, I somehow got myself tangled into stuff. I got too busy the whole of last, like end of last week. So I forgot to dye my hair. Yeah, that was, that was me and my beautiful, beautiful gifts. I'm gonna put them back where they belong. And I think it started on the hair and then also a little bit of work i don't know if i'm lazy to go to pep or not this hair i installed it like very quick 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 stuff in the morning just so that they don't snatch it it was got to be sorry not ghost bond got to be in the morning i'm gonna take it off and then you know install my wig now it's gonna be all juiced up um because i'm not gonna go out of Baruba. no so we might go get aluminum it will depend on how i'm feeling at around five and how cold it is around by it's too cold nah we're not doing it i'll use the stove top uh but yeah